Visio is a new service for computation of safe and efficient nautical routes. The present version of Visio is meant for motorboats with displacement hull. Nautical safety constraints are also considered following the regulations of the International Maritime Organization. This tutorial will help you in learning how to use Vizier. Vizier can be accessed upon registration at www.vizier-nav.com. Once you register, you will have full access to the Vizier web interface, which is made up of a geographic map of the Mediterranean Sea on the right and a menu for controlling the interface on the left. The default field displayed on the map is a forecast of significant wave high and wave direction. Areas with larger waves are shown in red, calm sea is shown in blue and violet. Arrows indicate wave direction. Let's start using Vizir. First of all, we look for an area with presence of large waves. Then, we pick a departure location, for instance here, and an arrival location, for instance here. We see that the tooltip provides an estimate of the time required for the computation, in this case less than one minute, and the distance between selected location. Then we click on the Submit button. The job is sent to a remote server for route computation. Well, we've got a result. Two routes are displayed on the map. The black one, the geodetic route, being the straightest connection between departure and arrival location, regardless of sea state between them. The red one, the optimal route, being the fastest route between the same locations, keeping into account the constraint for a safe navigation. We see that the optimal route differs from the geodetic route, in that it leads to a more intra navigation. This is done both for avoiding rough seas and for being compliant with the safety constraint. In particular, the conditions for surf riding, broaching to, pure loss of stability, parametric roll are checked for by Vizier. We can better explore the results by scrolling down the page. Here, we have a plot with time resolved information along both computed routes. In this case, we see significant wave high in meter versus time. The vessel is leaving at 11 p.m. and getting at destination at about 11 a.m. on the following day. While similar wave highs is experienced by both routes in the first part of the journey, the optimal route sails over calmer seas in the second part of the journey. More than one meter smaller waves are met. If we go to the left menu, Visualization section, and select Ship Speed from the radio buttons, we now see that wherever way high along the optimal route was smaller than along the geodetic route, ship speed is correspondingly larger by about 10 knots. This is exactly what allows the vessel moving along the optimal route to sail a much longer spatial distance and yet reaching destination not much later or even earlier than along the geodetic route and with a significant advantage, the optimal route is safer. It is also possible to change the four departure date and time for the routes. We go to the left menu, basic information section, click on the orange symbol for the calendar and select for instance November 19th at 9 p.m. Furthermore, VCID allows displaying on the map not just wave high and wave direction, but also wave period and direction. To this end, go to the left menu, Visualization section, and then select the Wave Period and Direction radio button. The field on the map changes. Wave period units are seconds, and typical values in the Mediterranean Sea range from 1 to 9 seconds. Then, we attempt to compute a route between Padra, in Greece, to Kalamata, again in Greece. The red box is the area where the route is looked for and is also termed bounding box in the following. Now, the default bounding box for this selection is nearly completely on the land. If we nevertheless submit a route request, Yisir will reply with an error message. 
Thus, we proceed to enlarge the bounding box in order to enclose enough C and then submit again. This way, we are able to compute a nautical route between Patra and Kalamata. In this other example, we learn how to change the forward vessel parameters. We go to the left menu, Advanced Information. Here we can choose between a cruiser, a fishing vessel and a ferry boat. We select the fishing vessel. You can individually adjust each of its parameters. For instance, this way. We now select departure location by typing its name. The same we do for arrival location. In this case, we also have to resize the bounding box by enlarging it. We are now ready for the job submission. We've got the results. We scroll down and we see that the optimal route is in this case significantly shorter than the geodetic route in terms of sailing time. It is interesting to visualize and giant throttle along the routes. The Vizier algorithm has computed a voluntary throttle reduction in the first part of the journey. A lower engine throttle results in a lower sustained speed. This is suggested by the algorithm in order to avoid a route diversion functional to fulfillment of the safety constraints. In conclusion, we've learned how to use Vizier for computing safe and efficient routes in the whole Mediterranean Sea. There are several ways to select departure and arrival location, and it is important to resize the bounding box for route computation, especially if the default bounding box for the two locations does not allow the presence of any route. For further information, please check the Discover Vizier and the Help section on the interface. In the Help section, you will find both a quick user guide to Vizier and more advanced information about parameters and navigational safety. If you need clarifications, if you found a bug, or if you wish to share with us your feedback about Vizier, please go to the Contact Us section in the upper part of the interface. Here you can fill and send a form like this. Thank you for your interest and enjoy Vizier!